Godot provides viewport, window, and sub-viewport classes to display the content of a game. In this video, we are going to cover these three classes. The viewport class is the parent class that is inherited by the window and sub-viewport classes. It is internal to the engine, so normally, you cannot make direct viewport nodes. The viewport class handles rendering. By default, each node that extends viewport isolates its children and renders them separately. In other words, if a viewport-based node has another viewport-based node as a child, the parent viewport node does not render the children of the nested viewport. The window node displays its content in a separate window. In fact, every time you run the game, Godot automatically generates a window node to display the content of your game. You can disable the Embed Subwindows option in the project settings. This will make a separate operating system window when a window node is used. In this example, we have a button. If we click on this button, our window node will become visible. When you try to close the window, the close requested signal is emitted. So we connect to this signal and hide the window. The sub viewport node renders its subtree to a texture allowing you to make complex compositing effects. To view the rendered texture of a sub-viewport node, you can place it inside a sub-viewport container node. This will automatically display its rendered content. For example, we are embedding a 3D scene into a 2D scene using a sub-viewport node. To toggle the visibility of the 3D scene, we can hide or show the sub-viewport container. This is useful if you want to display a separate scene inside your game. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.